Hola, como esta? Wait, not the Spanish, sorry. Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope the day's going well. Spanish is last hour as usual. I'm always done this before with French. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm all over the place. Well, I hope your Saturday's going well. Hope you're having a great day so far. Today's vlog, oh, she live. <laughs> so today, extremely excited to talk about an amazing man, an amazing leader, Nelson Mandela. So Nelson Mandela did some amazing things throughout his career. But I think the thing that really stands out the most for me is the way that he loved people, even in the face of being segregated against, even in the face of hatred. Through it all, he realized that love overcomes all things, and he believed to love always. So, one thing that Nelson Mandela was extremely strong on as a leader was he felt that if he gave his opinion and then asked a question, that the vast majority of the people, if not everyone, seated at the table with him, his right-hand men and women, you could say, would more than likely agree, or at least be persuaded by the words that he had stated previously. So that when he is ideally hoping to get an answer that is the most genuine and unbiased from each individual so that they can piece together all the data that he has in front of him make the best possible decision as the leader that he was. He believed that he would therefore affect the decisions of those around him, disallowing for him to get the information needed to make the best possible decision for himself, his family, and ultimately his country. So what did he do? Nelson Mandela would ask a question, kind of taken from the book of Socrates, you could say, and then allow everyone else at the table to voice their opinions first. Whether they were all in agreement, uh, whether they all argued, he allowed them to go back and forth without giving his opinion because he knowed how important and how heavy his opinion would weigh on the opinions and ultimately the words of others. He didn't want what he was going to say to affect the honest opinion of those around him. He allowed them to go back and forth. Would they always come to a consensus? You know, probably not, but that wasn't the point because good leaders don't just make all the decisions for everyone. Nelson Mandela believed that good leaders take a consensus of those around him, of those experts that he can put around himself, that she can put around herself, to make the best decisions possible. Look, it would be crazy to think that myself or yourself or any one individual can make all the best decisions in every situation. To attain that knowledge, to make that distinction, you'd need a million lifetimes. Let's not be that foolish, let's not be that naive. Let's utilize those people around us. Even if they may not be saying the thing that we you know, are the easiest to accept. Let's utilize other people's expertise in areas and use that for the benefit of everyone else in the community. Because isn't that what's most important? Everyone being happy. Aren't we limited by the individuals who have the least amount of happiness in our society? Isn't that what's the most important thing to us? Not raising our self-value in money. Not getting a better house or, or more cars or more toys. Shouldn't we be more satisfied in helping those around us? Because it's about the culture, it's about the society, it's about the community, it's about family as a whole. And Nelson Mandela understood that. So once everyone got their opinion out, he didn't rush in, didn't let everyone say one thing and then he jumped in. He let everyone get everything out took a deep breath, took the consensus of the room, and then more than likely probably followed it up with multiple other questions because he realized that to make the best possible decision, he needed to get all the data he could possibly get, and he surrounded himself with those individuals who had expertise in the areas that mattered to him and that mattered to his country of South Africa. What can we learn from that? You know, we, we may not be sitting around a boardroom every day with a bunch of people we can ask questions of, but every individual that we come in contact with, let's not over-influence their opinion. Let's ask them a question and let's allow them to voice their opinions to the fullest before we chime in. Because don't you think that we can get the best possible data when we do that? Don't we want to get their open, unbiased opinion? 
I know I do. I hope you guys do as well. Oh man, I love talking about Nelson Mandela. If you guys have any good quotes, any you know inspiration that came from Nelson Mandela, anything that you want to say about him, I would love for you to message me over at Clayton J. Jensen. Yeah, you see it right here. Please do that. Would love to talk to you or anything that you're passionate about. I want to hear more about you. Let's get to know each other. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today at the wetlands. Hope you like the uh, palm trees in the background here, man. Those things are sweet. Wind's going a little bit, but man, it is awesome. Hey, even if the sun's not out, it is still a beautiful day. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of the Saturday into the Sunday. Hope you can sleep in maybe a little bit. And uh, until tomorrow, you guys stay chill. You guys stay peaceful. I'll see you then.